Yeah. You know what? I'm going to tell you what. Horse riding is an art I have, that I have not mastered. <laughs> I love horses, but not to ride them. That's, people think that's easy, and it's not. I had that years. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Boy Scouts. I did like a... Thing. They used to, I don't know if they still do, they used to have it there on, on Bragg where you could go to Smith Lake. Yeah, I used to, uh, I did, and my horse evidently had a uh, Kentucky Derby flashback and decided it wanted to like pass the lead horse. I feel like every horse it was, I've ever ridden have been really was, lazy because they gave, you know, they gave you the one that wasn't going to do anything. Mine, yeah. mine wanted to be first. These are his shoes. This is how they would they would collect the pine sap that they would boil down in the turpentine. They start down at the bottom, and early on they would just cut a box. They literally cut a little cavity in the bottom of the tree and make these. V shaped box. Yeah, run to it. And yeah, and the sap would just run down in it and then they'd pick it out. Later they started using like tin and, and ceramic cups to collect it. And over time, like each season, they'd go up a little bit higher and then eventually they cut the tree down and use it for lumber. So when the dam broke, they found these pieces at the bottom of the dam. They cut them off in the you know the timber process and couldn't use them. So that's called cap facing. One of the things I like about this room is look at these boards. I mean, you cannot find it. Yeah, that's the, yeah, these are like 24 inches long. Yeah. Wow. Two by 24. Wow. <laughs> by 24. You can't, you just can't find that. It doesn't exist anymore. So it's amazing. Hand rock, mantles, and everything. Amazing. Over it. So one of the, one of the uh, neat things about this place is on either side, um, when they were going through the house, uh, our superintendent, Colleen, saw these. <laughs> uh, and it was up in this little hidden compartment. And I mean, it's perfectly matched. Like a little booze, booze, booze. Yeah. Booze high <laughs> so the, the, uh, Mr. Rockefeller's grandson came to visit for a tour to see what we were Don't doing. Don't want the house. revenues, your booze. And we, yeah. they asked him, like, what were, what were these used for? He had no idea they were. He had never seen them. Yeah. He didn't know they were there. Oh, that's come on now. If you were a little kid, okay. Here, yeah. like, now, you know, I would have found that. Question. This is a crazy. Can I like just touch the? Sh I I don't have to. But yeah, can I ahead. just? I am touching the shoes of James Stillman Rockefeller. That might not mean nothing to y'all, but yeah, there's just that's his hammer shoe. Yeah. yeah. What when you actually touch history? I mean, that's something. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Is when you actually touch like history. He probably caught that fish right there too. Can you tell I'm just as stoked on the history of this man? Because he's just, <laughs> I'm stoked by people who are geniuses. This man was a genius. He definitely knew his business. He did. And you can feel his spirit. He is so cool. He had that cool childlike spirit until he, he was just, that's cool. I always thought this was kind of funny because he had this installed for his wife, the seat to go up as she was getting older. Yeah. But the story is, you know, he's a former Olympian and he's like, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take a ride up. So he had these like dollar fifty handholds. <laughs> so he could like walk himself up. <laughs> what a Gemini would do. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I can do it myself. I am walking up historic like steps. This, this glass left behind. It's the only one in the house. So now these are the sleeping porches you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, this is super. Oh, this is super yeah. cool. Facing north. To sleep here in the summertime. Yeah. I have a feeling that the, the windows were put in when they renovated in the 70s. Because you can see, you know, the original railing and everything was out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But 
yeah, there's, the screens are still there. You can put them in the windows. Yeah. Flowers, flowers. <laughs>